you know, I'm looking for a new motorcycle just to change things up and add some new content for the channel. But a lot of you guys are like Cycle Cruiser, man. You need to go ahead and step up, get a Harley Davidson. Uh, get a cruiser. Your name's Cycle Cruiser, man. You know, why are you riding around on sport bikes? You need to get a cruiser. You need to get a Harley Davidson bagger. I'm going to tell you this, guys. I'm going to give you my opinion on why you should probably not get a cruiser motorcycle. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Subscribe today. That kind of sounds like a Harley Davidson to me, man. <laughs> that sounds beautiful, doesn't it? That CP2 engine with this Akrapovich full exhaust here. It just sounds beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? But I have actually in the past considered getting a Harley Davidson many times just to change things up on my channel and to have something different to share with you guys and uh, bring in maybe some Harley Davidson enthusiasts. Um, Yo, know, first off, I want to say I have an appreciation and love for all motorcycles. I'm not saying that any type of motorcycle really is shit. There's no such thing as a bad motorcycle, a bad mo unless it's not running. That's the only definition of a bad motorcycle. But I'm going to tell you why cruisers are really at the bottom of the echelon, really, to be honest with you. In my opinion, from my experience of riding all the different motorcycles, because I'm going to tell you, but first off, Make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out here on the streets. And I have links to my, all of my awesome gear, like my favorite helmet, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tint shield, motor, new motovlog camera, uh, gauntlet gloves, airbag vest to help keep you safe. I have links to all my gear in the description and comment section of this video. Honestly, this MTL7 cost me like, what, $9,000, about $9,000 out the door. I think it was like $9,300 out the door, okay? Brand spanking new. You know what I'm saying? And to me, the, the riding position on this bike is very similar to a cruiser, except for the pegs may be a little bit more aggressive, obviously, than, than your typical cruiser that usually has the front forward pegs you know up here uh, which I can't stand though I don't like that it just feels weird to me man I can't get with that <laughs> and uh and, and the cruisers that have the mid pegs is very kind of similar to this but generally Harley Davidson's are, are not just Harley Davidson's but cruisers generally are heavier slower they have uh their suspension is uh, really inferior there's really nothing that special about cruisers besides them being just a motorcycle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There, there's nothing really special about most of them. Now you've got the upper echelon of sport bike light cruisers like the Ducati X Diavo, the Diavo V4, Diavo 1260, you know, Ducati's version of a, a cruiser, which that thing is really like a sport bike set up like in a cruiser package. That, so for those of you guys that are looking for a lot of power and you want to go to the cruiser world, but you don't want to give up the power, that those that's those are the bikes you want to go for. You know what I'm saying? But most cruisers are not like that. Most cruisers, they the good thing about cruisers, they have a, a lot of bottom end grunt for out here on the streets and all, which is good. Like you know the Harleys and all, but they they're so cumbersome because a lot of them, like the baggers are really heavy, seven eight hundred pounds. You know what I'm saying? Which weight is not that big of a deal out here on the street, but it's still a lot of weight, man. You know what I'm saying? You feel the weight. Compared to this little bike, which I got down to like 380-something pounds wet. You know what I'm saying? This thing, it feels like nothing. The lighter weight a bike is, the more at one you feel with a bike. You know what I'm saying? And if you're, like I said, this bike has the comfort of a cruiser. It's got, the, it's got that twin sound of a cruiser but it feels better it's lighter weight man you know what I'm saying and you're gonna get that quicker response the, the, the it's gonna feel quicker and, and just and, and it saves money it's just and you're getting reliability with the MTL 7 yo being a Yamaha compared to the Harley Davidson's which they're getting better in reliability but still they're not the best when it and they're very expensive parts are expensive maintenance is expensive for what 
Why would you go through all of that, pay all that extra money? For what? Because of the, most of the time it's because of the culture, because your friends have a Harley Davidson, because you're in a, a biker gang or something, which they love those, you know, the Harley Davidsons. I know you feel like you get a certain age, you get old or whatever, and you feel like you should, you, you don't need to be riding sport bikes anymore. I feel like you should be riding cruisers, right? But <laughs> you got an MTL7, man. You got, you got these naked bikes out here that are, like I said, very comfortable, relaxing, you know, got more power. They got better suspension usually, uh, cheaper. It's like, I, I just don't understand. I don't see the point of most cruisers of getting a cruiser man they've always been at the bottom of my list and i honestly i did own a ducati x diablo s that's the only cruiser that i've owned and i'll tell you it was an amazing it was awesome it was fun but that that's uh that's an outlier that's a whole that's a different that's a sport bike cruiser man <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's that's not your typical cruiser okay I, I, I would be bored to death. I'd probably quit riding a motorcycle if I had to ride around here on a cruiser all day, man. I'll tell you. Just sitting here on this big, heavy Harley or whatever type of cruiser, just riding around town, looking cool, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's boring to me, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honestly, I'll be honest with you. If I only had a street bike anyhow, I would probably get kind of bored after time anyhow because I, I had to have a supermoto in my life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this, this video is not about supermotos, but I'm telling you, if you want to add spice to your life and mix things up, you got to add a supermoto to your life, man. Because <laughs> you can go off-road, you can fly around corners, you can cruise on it, you can do a little bit of everything. Um, but cruisers alone nah man okay off the line oh shit oh my god it's so much slower than my bike <laughs> the power yeah i know it's a cruiser there's nothing really uh, now i know some people they will swear i have friends that have changed over to a harley davidson bagger and they absolutely swear by the harley bagger they that you know what I'm saying? That that is the best bike ever and they love it. And and I'm sure it's a great bike and everything, man. And I, I just don't, honestly, I don't see the appeal of those bikes. I just don't, but that's me. Everybody has their own preferences. Everybody has their whatever, their likes and dislikes. But I honestly, I'm always looking for the best value per dollar. And I feel like you're not getting the best value per dollar with any with most cruisers. You know what I'm saying? that you're better off getting a naked motorcycle, you know what I'm saying? Just getting a more comfortable naked motorcycle. Or, or an ADV bike. The adventure bikes are highly popular now. They provide a lot of leg room, super comfortable, got all the amenity. You could travel across the country on those things. You could do a little bit of off-road, not nothing crazy. Um, honestly, those are probably really the best uh, cruisers to tour on, and, and um, if that's what you're you want to do to me i would skip the cruiser and get the adventure bike if that's your 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 plan if you don't really care for the naked bikes um because the adventure bikes are a bit more comfortable than in even the naked bikes because they sit up taller so you have a uh, more leg room and uh and they just sit up really high which is nice in traffic i'm not ready for an adventure bike because i I'm, i don't have time to tour but I'm telling you, if I ever do get involved in touring, I'd probably maybe get me a little lightweight adventure bike of some sort. I'd probably, get, I'd probably end up getting a supermoto like a, um, a KTM 690 SMCR and kind of kit it out in an adventure type bike style. You know what I'm saying? Because I would want to be able to go ride in the mountains off-road, mess around a little bit, and I wouldn't want to be on a four or 500 pound bike. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think I would even ever get an adventure bike um, but leave a comment below on what you guys think. What is so special about cruisers? Tell me, why, do you, why did you buy a cruiser or why do you want a cruiser? What is special about them? Is it the looks of them? Is it the culture? Like, like what is it? 
leave a comment below make sure to hit thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos release but i release new videos every sunday tuesday and thursday at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time check out my playlist for new writers and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.